there, Master Hellish here, and welcome to this Saturday night live open TTD live stream. I can see a few people are still coming into the stream. We'll have a quick chat, and then we'll crack on with the open TTD action. Um, so I sorted the shed out today. We've been talking about that in chat. A bench chill come in handy? No, because it was it was just a sorting out of the shed. So I was moving things around and throwing things away and and that sort of thing and. Um, Give my bike a once over, making sure that it's all in good nick and so forth. Um, actually, shed construction and reshedding is going to take place later in the year. So, hello to Nudger, DJ Egg, Wizard Brandon, Tom, and anybody else who's popped along for some Open TTD. Let's switch over to the Open TTD screen. There it is. Open TTD sometimes takes a moment to come through. Um, I'm here in the bottom right of the corner and so of of the screen. So Hellishville is just up there. And you, if you haven't seen last episode, that that could be a problem. You're gonna end up with some spoilers because last episode was actually aired today. So if you saw the episode lunch at uh, lunchtime, the midday UK time, uh, UTC. Um, then that's brilliant. You're up to date. But if you haven't seen that, you're going to have missed a bit. And well, things are going okay. So let's have a quick let's have a quick look. So, Hellishville, six thousand five hundred and twenty-five people. Okay, doing good. Soon we're going to need alcohol, and we've got a brewery here where we're picking up um, alcohol, which is being made from fruit and being dropped off at the Hellishville store. It's going to be the best stocked boozer in town. Uh, we had some problems with Hellishville South, but that appears to have been sorted out now. Hopefully we'll be making a lot more engineering supplies. Uh, we're going to be supplying it with petrol, and it's just going to be a fantastic loopy goodness. Now, the problem I've got here is I've got four engineering supplies trains and no room for the petrol. So, I think I'm going to have dedicated engineering line... And then we're going to let the fuel in. So let's unpause the game and get that going. We're going to need uh, not maglev this episode. I did say um, in um, my last video that I was likely going to be moving to maglev at some point soon. But that was before I realised that I was going to do a live episode. So the live episode... And then we may, might move to Maglev. So we'll see about that. Uh, is the volume a bit loud for you guys? It doesn't look like it's too loud. Uh, we sh let's get, should we get some background music going? There we go. Every time I do uh, background music, I lose... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's gone. It's gone. There it is. Found it. It's not counting as booze yet. We'll, we'll see. Let me adjust my headphones. Okay. That should be good background music levels. So, let's get a bridge in. Must remove track. Ooh, that needs to be peeled back. Um, that should do it. Bridge to bridge, bridge to bridge. Brilliant. What I'm thinking is, is that I'll just do that. We'll get rid of these signals. And we'll have a lovely queuing section. Brilliant. Okay, so we've got lots of petrol waiting to come in. But the engineering supplies aren't going out fast enough. So we're going to have to get a couple of these engineering supplies trains just to leave the station. Just so I can sort it out more than anything else. Uh, let's delete this bit. And actually remove that as well there we are now what we'll do is we'll put a, a waypoint in here when there's not a train in the way get out of the way there we go and we'll just pause the game because we're going to be doing timetable stuff not too loud for me if anything that's a tad quiet I'd rather it be a little bit too quiet than a little bit too loud it's only background music anyway uh, hello, cool dude. Welcome to the stream. So before going to Hellishville South, 
this train needs to go through oh yeah this train needs to go through this waypoint and before this one goes to Hellishville South It needs to go through this waypoint. I think that's right. Yes, it is right. Okay, so that these two will sort it out. So we're going to rename that pet. Because that's where the petrol is going. And we'll rename this one sup. Because that's where the engineering supplies is coming from. So this should now sort itself out. We're going to get rid of all these engineering supplies trains. We're going to tell it to go that way. We're going to get rid of this one as well. Skip the orders of all the engineering trains. Is there any engineering? There's that one. Uh, you skip your order. Right, so now it should be fine. We should have a load of petrol coming in. The engineering supplies should be created and jobs are good. And we'll keep an eye on that as we get the scores up fruit is down to 1% storage that's not good building materials is absolutely running brilliantly petrols dying but we know why uh, if anything it's gonna go overstocked the next time uh, fruit we really need to sort out fruit so let's get the map up there we go so here's our map. If we turn off everything except the fruit plantations, in fact, if I leave my mouse hovering over them, you can see them flashing. You can see that we've only really got. Is that just one? Oh no, there's a, there's a couple of fruit plantations up here that we've got hooked in. Looks like we've got a fruit plantation down here that we've got hooked in. Uh, we're bringing in the supplies, so hopefully that's quadruple. Yep, that's quadruple. Brilliant. I need some signals on the sup line. You're right. Where is it? Here it is. Let's get some signals in. Excuse me, guys. The sneeze came out from nowhere. I didn't even know I was going to sneeze. Okay, I took that out there in panic. I thought that train was going to crash. Just because I wasn't looking what I was doing when I sneezed. Right. Ah, hang on a minute. This engineering supplies train just went the wrong way. It's because there's an implicit order. There we go. Let's see if th that should be a lot better anyway. It just means the engineering supplies trains can uh, upgrade into Mac level will be a pain. I'm going to just get delete every single train. And then I'm going to bring the trains back again. With um, the, Once the whole thing's been converted. Right. Uh, fruit. Yes, we're checking fruit. We're, uh, right, okay. So we've got that one down down here it doesn't help that it's green on a green map we've got two up here and then that's about it we haven't got any more hooked up so if we turn the town names off oh actually I tell a lie it appears that we've got two over here hooked up gung-ho and normal one of them is not taking the supplies and this is what happens where you've got two industries being served by the same uh, by the same jobby there What's this? We've got a plantation here. It's not on the right line. Might be able to do something about it. Uh, I would rather get one that's... Is that one? or th no, That is just one. It can't be three. Yeah, it's just one. I was going to say. Um... There is a plantation up there, there is a plantation there, there's there's a couple over here, but that's a long way away. What about over this side? J 
just a not really that much that's accessible. Um, I guess we could try and fix the problem of only two, uh, only one of these. Where is it? Yeah, only one of these two plantations getting these supplies. So what we can do is this Friendwood plantation is currently the bit that's providing that, but there's a train there. Oh, hang on a minute. So let's delete this this bit here. There we go. Um, that that wasn't really what I wanted to do. I didn't want to delete that much. There we go. So I'm thinking if we do two separate trains. So uh, let's have number of tracks two, platform length six. Where it won't go to that other plantation. We're actually forcing it to be out of range. Uh, and I think the best way of doing that might be here. Here we go. Here we go. This is what we're doing. We're having to split the lines. So that they go to the two different plantations. And only the two different plantations. So then if I put another station over here... Make a little bit of line there. Oh, that almost fits perfectly. It's a little bit low. There we go. There we go. So that splits off to the two different stations. Um, that will turn one of them, what wasn't gung ho, into gung ho. Uh, signal there and there. There we go. And just reload those ones. Now the only thing is, is that these trains down here... How many trains have I got going? Just the two. Okay, so we're going to unshare the orders. One of them uh, is going to go to this station and the other one is going to go to this station and then what I'll do is we'll clone them so at the minute I've got one of the trains going backwards and forwards presumably because it's lost don't know why that one stopped you skip your order and then from here, clone that train and clone that train. Away they go. So now we've got two going each way. Now as long as the signals aren't bad, and I don't think they are, that should hopefully get both of these... Yeah. That's it. Both of those now will be gung-ho. This one will be delivering down here beautifully. That's an improvement on fruit. We've made an upgrade. And that's basically what we're going to be doing. We're just going to be going out there, making an upgrade, coming back to Hellishville and seeing how things are going. So you can see now, uh, building materials still brilliant. Petrol nearly a 99%. Again, it's still just the fruit at the moment. We have got a fruit train that's about to come in though. Let's check the map again. So oh, down here we've got these uh, two fruit plantations. Hey JP, welcome to the stream. Now these are being serviced by two separate um, railway stations uh, dropping off farm supplies. They're both enhanced double. I'm, I'm just presuming that it's because I think we've only got two trains. Got, oh, we've got three trains. One's going up there. Okay, basically these two trains need doubling out. Clone that one, and clone that one. That should change it from double to quad. Brilliant. So there's another enhancement. It's 
come back to Hellishville. Lots of income going on. Seven, uh, 709 million in the bank. You can see the engineering supplies trains queuing up, but they're not blocking anything anymore. Thanks to these two waypoints down here. Um, right then. This little bit here. If I can press the right button. This is no longer required. That was just so that trains could end up back at the right place if they needed to be. Petrol is going good. We haven't got any engineering supplies here just yet. But that's fine. It will grow. Um... More fruit should be coming. Uh, we don't want to save the game yet. I think we might have to hook up some extra one of these fruit places. This one back here. This one over here is going to need hooking up. It's only 54 tons. Is it tons? Yes, which is the same as these ones. But we can... Where's it gone? There it is. But we'll get it all sorted out. So, first things first, let's make a little room for some station. Station, we're going to have three tracks facing this way. We're going to have a nice big gap. Now the station's in, we're going to flatten a lot more of the land. For these two, we're going to get the platforms going this way. And that's going to be the exit. And I, I think we're just going to feed one of the other ones. Uh, and then we'll do a little bit of land here. And we'll come back to that shortly. And it looks like there's a heist going on in the Twitch chat. I'm going to try and keep this light land height even as we travel across the map here. There we go. It's not important that it's even. It just makes things easier. I'm a little lazy and Hellish Inc. doesn't care about, care about the environment. I mean, we're a legitimate front to, a league, um, to an evil organisation, after all. I'm going to get that on a t-shirt. Right then, we're getting close to our plantation where we're going to be dropping stuff off. So we're going to come this way and we're just going to dig straight through this. Oh no, that's not good. I didn't realise it was up that high. Um kind of wanted to do a, a little bit of a transfer but I, I don't know if we've got room for that get get out of the way get out of the way get out thank you uh we've got two tracks is there room for it yes just so i'm gonna hook it up to this plantation here ah oh, fingenbury plantation is not the same as fingenbury heights right new pl no can't have that can't have that we're gonna have to go under it but then where do we go? How am I going to get a station in there? Oh, I've really boxed, my, boxed myself in here. Um, I bet I can't, like, do jobby the land too much this way either, can I? No, there's a thingy in the way. Hmm... Yeah, it's it's too far away. The station spread on this game, I think, is 15. Although, if I do one track, it might fit. Sneak. Right. We can do this. We can do this. But it's going to take some fiddling. First things first, we're going to extend the platform this way and then we're going to shave off a bit here. That's so that I can allow a signal to come out the back there and then this track's going to go that way. On the entrance, it's going to go this way, it's going to go relatively straight and it's going to go relatively high at this height for a little way. That's so that we can then join this track up here. This bit can get flattened because I don't like it and that will connect up roughly about here. Uh, then once this goes down, we'll let it go down for a little bit, and then we'll go let it go down for a little bit more. And ideally, it needs to go down enough so that it hits this bit of track that's coming in here. Oh yes. 
This this is going to be not great because we've only got one drop off platform. And I can't think of another way of doing it. Well, actually, wait a minute. If I remove this platform here. Like, just actually remove it. Then I can have another platform over here. Uh, here we go. We're borrowing a bit from one side to put it on the other. Oh no, that, that thing's in the way. Right, okay, fine. If you're in the way, I can deal with that. We can do anything today. There we are. A tunnel. We're going to go uh, just push the land up a little bit. There you are. We're going to there. That's right. You heard me right. We're going to there. We'll push this up to here. Just kind of do this. Make a really long train to compensate for it. No. We're having two platforms. And that's the way it's going to be. I'm determined that this is going to work. Can you tell? I've kind of boxed myself into a corner. And this is what's going to happen. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's hook that up. Get the signals in. Yeah, get the signals in this side. We're going to have to put a signal straight after that junction there. Yep, 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 Looks good. Okay, let's get it. No, hang on a minute. Wait, 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 wait. What's that? That's not good. That's a load of rubbish. There we go. It does make it mean that I have to put a depot there, but that's that's not a problem. Remove those signals, fix that. That's better. Much, much better. Exit signals. A few casualties have fallen, but most of the team make it out. Tom only got 125. Well, what did Tom bet? Uh, oh. What did Brandon bet? Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. I don't see Brandon entering. Oh. I have no idea, Tom. No idea at all. Anyway, right. We're going to clone our fruit trains down here. We're not going to clone the orders, though. And in fact, we're going to get rid of all the orders. We're going to full load at Genil Woods. And then we're going to come down to Fendenberry Heights and transfer leave it empty clone them out so we've got four of them which is way too many we'll get rid of one of them and send them on their way now on this jut of land here we're going to build a bulk terminal there's the bulk terminal going in i'm going to put a two track terminus station in and that's all we need. We're just going to have two tracks going down into one so that one can one train can load whilst the other one There we go. That I think that'll do it. Just that one signal. Wow. Um let's put one depot there and one depot there and hope for the best. And uh, then I need to borrow the design for one of these trains. Stay still. Got you. Now remember, these trains are small for a reason. We want little and often. So we're going to full load here and then nip down there. And then we're going to go to the opposite depot and clone that train. Just so that there's one in each. And off they go. So this bulk terminal will be producing farm supplies um, soon that should triple the amount of fruit being produced at this plantation the fruit fruit will load up in these trains travel along the line and get transferred at this station which is actually a spread station with this one these trains will pick it up i'm going to put another train in there already there we go let's clean up the track around here after we remove that extra platform in a pickup station, you only really need three platforms for most of the time. Um, 
because you only normally have one train loading at once. And one, the time it takes for a train to load is usually long enough for one train to leave and another train to come in. So if you have three lines, so one can go out, one can come in, and then one loading, you're usually good, unless your train's really short. Five or six length, three platforms, should do it. There we go. Uh, we've got a train that can't find its way because the station's too long. Right, you turn around, you leave, and we'll fix that. I mean, the station's not too long, the station's too short. Um, station, two tracks, and length one. There we go. That is why that train was having a problem. I've had that, I've found that in this Let's Play that I've done that a few times. Oh, there we go. Station sorted. Right, back to Hellishville, wherever it is. Uh, there it is, down here. Let's see how things are getting on. We're at six and a half thousand. And... Fruit is good. We've been growing for one month. Go us. Tom says, I've just remembered. I need to renew my viewer plus. Apparently, so does Uperia. Um... I just got a notification just as I was about to go live um, that uh, Uperia was un Viewer Plus. But if you if you actually subscribe to Viewer Plus during a live stream, it should pick it up and it should announce it. I say should because I wrote the program that um, that does it. And if anything changes around that program, then it might not work. Like if the requirements change or something like that. Anyway, we're doing good. Uh, viewer minus. That's right. <laughs> you period got your viewer minus. So looking at these, it's just that fruit that we now need to see um, still to improve. But we are now bringing enough in. Let's have a look. Um, we can't build primary industries. So we can we build a fruit plantation? No. Presumably fruit can only come from a fruit plantation. Let's have a look. So fruit is what we need in. Let's just double check that in the industry chains. Here's the industry chains. So if we go fruit, you can see it only comes from a fruit plantation. There is nothing we can do apart from go and find new ones and make sure our existing ones are getting the supplies that they need. So, looking at this map, the only ones that are nearby that isn't hooked up is this one, which is fine. We could hook that one up, but the problem is it's way out there. It's not even on the fruit network. To be on the fruit network, it would have to connect up with this line, which would have to cross this one, go around here, and then... Oh, actually, it's not that bad. Um, anyone know where to get your previous subscriptions? Anyone know where to get to your previous subscriptions? What, Viewer Plus subscriptions? I don't know. Not so sure on that one. Uh... Come on, there we go. So I'm thinking if I head out this way. Oh, it does exist. Um, I kind of want to be coming in right across this. Maybe if we can get across here and then down. So in, Or just underneath Wenham. Which means we have to go almost perfectly diagonally through this bit. Okay. Let's let's see what we can do. Let's 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 go a little bit nuts. Is that going to get us across the bottom of Wenham? Pretty much. I can't do diagonal bridges. So we're going to have to come across and then figure it out. Um, I wish you could do diagonal bridges. 
would be so much better. So I think if we do that, it's enough. Is that it? I'm not 100% sure. That can be a bridge, but that one can't. Well, this gets so confusing sometimes. When you're working in the diagonals. Right, that wants to be a bridge. I can't go to there. Need to peel it back. Right, that might be it. Uh, no, it can come forward one. Yeah, it can come forward one. Bridge from here to... Well, obviously, that can come forward now as well. I've messed this up. I have really messed this up. So this one can't go to there. So that does need to go back. But only one. There we go. Right. I've unmessed it up. So now, in theory, this can now go diagonally. Hopefully we miss most of the farm. Uh, yep, yeah, looking good. Now I don't know how much past this town we're going to be able to go. Not great. In fact, it's that hotel that's in the way, but we'll just do a shimmy. Hang on. Is that it? Here we go. There and... There? That's it! God, all the effort we're going through just to put one fruit plantation in. It's ridiculous. There you go. I don't even know why I'm unkinking this now. Uh, let's get rid of that financial report. There we go. There we go, look! It worked! My program worked! Viewer Tom Brad has subscribed to Viewer Plus. Uh, thank you, and then Reg Add Tom. So that Reg Add Tom adds you as a registered person with Hellishbot. So Hellishbot knows your Viewer Plus and then gives you more points. Wow! Where is it? It's miles away. I don't know how far I can go cutting the land like this. It's it's not healthy. Um, also, I keep making small mistakes, so it's not even. But that's fine. It doesn't matter. Right. How close am I? Am I nearly there? Right, so we're going to keep going until we hit... This paper mill. Literally, we're gonna hit. We're gonna. We're gonna crash right into it. Wow, we actually came out of the hill. Almost. Well, that's a ridiculous bit of track, floating in the sky. There we go. And then. Once we get to here, we'll head down to the fruit. This is going to be a long railway line. And I'm just going to run this in as close as I can get it and then put the station on the end. So the station here um, is going to be a two-track, six-length platform. We're going to have trains queue. Are you kidding me? It doesn't doesn't actually pick up any resources needs to be higher up apparently there we go now we're picking up fruit it's fine it's not a problem I realized that I wasn't I couldn't get my subscription history because I was under the view of plus profile which disappears after it expires correct meaning you can't click renew on the subscription yeah, I think you can only renew if you've already got one. Otherwise, you have to then resub. It's not the most sophisticated subscription system in the world. But it's the best that I can do on my small scale. And it, and it works. So, it's fine. 
Okay, the signals seem to be okay, so let's get a couple of fruit trains. Let's clone that one, and I think actually while we're down here, we're going to need some more fruit trains down here. We'll get two more going down here. You can you can see, or at least I can see where I was by all the brown land. There we go. Let's give it some orders. So it's going to end up at Hellishville. We need to delete that first order and tell it to full load there. Once it's done that, we'll have three, four trains to begin with. That's a lot of trains, but it's fine. And then we'll do the same thing again. We'll go uh, fun new industry, bulk terminal. I don't know how many of these I've funded. There we go. Let's get the railway tracks in. Put that in there, and then what I want to do is just kind of keep this as straight as possible. So I'm going to do this. Now I don't think... Yeah, that's not going to link up to the... To the place there, so we're going to have to come up a little. Uh, there we go. Right. Farm supplies there. Simple jobs are good and I could probably have actually done an even more simpler um, configuration down here but if anybody's watching this on YouTube and thinking what's he talking about viewer plus viewer plus is kind of like my version of patreon um, you support me monetarily by giving me money which um, I use for both funding the master hellish project and uh, if there's any money left after that, which there isn't usually, um, it does go to my um, personal expenses as well. Um, and I hope that by running that program, I can have the funds which help improve and increase the viewer plus um, the the program. The, not the program, not viewer plus. What's the other thing? I'm doing right. I'm going to. Do, I'm not going to do two things at once. I'm going to mention Viewer Plus, and then I'm going to do the trains. <sighs> right. Basically, Viewer Plus is where you give me money. I use that money to make Master Hellish as good as I possibly can. If there's any money left, it helps with my day-to-day -day living expenses as well. Um, I, in return for this, there are a few number of benefits for the Viewer Plus program. Things like access to a special Discord. You get extra videos, extra giveaways. Um, some of these um, come more often and regular than others, but all the information is on my website. So if you do want to get more out of Master Hellish and are willing to put a bit of money in to help me, then feel free to go to masterhellish.net and look down the menus for Viewer Plus. Anybody has any questions, please put it in the comments or in the Twitch chat or send me a message.